Hello guys, uh, following your recent questions I'm going to uh, go over a few features that Tasker has to offer to make your workflow a little bit easier. First thing that you want to make sure of is to jump quickly to preferences and make sure you allow external access in options, you have to make sure that the uh, tick box is checked and also jump to uh, UI section and disable beginners mode. I know you're just starting but this will give you a much more options for you uh, to choose from. You can also enable or disable tips but this is up to your personal preferences. At the bottom of the screen, you can see a folder tab. You can add or remove folders from there by simply clicking on add will create a new folder for your profiles. Tapping on plus symbol will allow you to add a new profile, task, scene or variable depending on which section of the task you currently are in. If you tap and hold on plus symbol, that will take you to a search menu so you could easily search your profiles. So if your folders are not uh, available to you to view, just make sure you tap and hold again on the plus symbol or a uh, question mark symbol. Tap and hold at the tabs at the top will allow you to sort your profiles and also to export them. You can also manage your data by going to data and options and this will allow you to either backup your data or restore your data which means all your current profiles will be restored the backup file is an XML file located in the Tasker folder in a default directory. There is a always an auto backup folder and that can be enabled through preferences in a Tasker itself. Tap and hold down on one of your profiles and you'll be given additional options. You can rename it, clone it or export it. If you export it, you can save the file to SD and then your Tasker files will be displayed in the same folder. Through this menu, you get to access more advanced features to resolve problems with the profiles itself. You can select more than one profile by simply tapping and holding on one and then tapping on following profiles to add to selection. In the same way you can select task lists or separate tasks itself. Whenever dealing with the task lists you can set multiple tasks and copy them between either profiles or between tasks. This way you're gonna save a lot of time and hassle. Pasting your selection requires you to select one of the tasks and then the option to paste whatever you've got in a clipboard is available. You can also clone the task lists providing you want to just change values of the tasks itself or assign an icon to the task list to easily recognize it among the others. You can also enable and disable the tasker itself by clicking on the tasker icon in the top left corner of the screen. It is very important to remember that tasker saves the information on exit, so whenever you've made changes to any of the profiles, you have to go back to the main screen and then exit the tasker for the changes to be applied in the next update. Import of separate profiles can be done by clicking on the tab, long pressing on it, and then it will take you to your folders. The default folder is the tasker and profiles where all the files are stored. To make Tasker a fully functional application, you'll need a several plugins or third-party applications that will extend the possibilities of the Tasker itself, so make sure you always check on whatever is available on the App Store. To troubleshoot your profiles, you will often need a log of what's going on in a Tasker. You can do so by enabling it. You click on More and then 
run log. Once enabled, whenever you're gonna execute any of the profiles or tasks itself, results will be stored in your log. You can execute any of the task lists at any time by pressing a play button. Whenever you are looking for help online, this log and also the profile file itself might be requested from you to help you solve your problems. It is possible to edit your files and upload them back to the tasker. However, until you're totally comfortable with the code itself, I wouldn't recommend you doing so. This is the basics of how to use the tasker. I hope that will help you in your workflow and speed up the things and the way uh, you set up your profiles. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.